Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, there are kobolds, many kobolds, and uh, we are going to fight them, I suppose. Right? Well, Soon as I, I was hoping I could stall, and by the time I was done stalling, the map would be done, and it's like five seconds off from being done. So you, you needed map. to stall for another five seconds. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying, and I'm failing to stall properly. Normally, my stalling techniques are top notch. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, the kobolds, maybe they can just stall so away from us. They can just be stalled. You're so stalling we can just be stalled forever. So we stall. Stroll away. Nope, nope. Here's our map. Uh, oh. You guys, who we should probably, I should doodle the altar in the back here. I will put it in green. Oh, uh, the camera's is... got cycled somehow. Uh, also, McDanky, oh we learned God. that the altar heals you. If you can. Uh, yeah, the altar's maybe not quite that big, but it's a... It's good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Why don't you all drag yourselves onto the map somewhere? Do that. Oh, where are we? Oh. I, I don't do. see us. Oh, oh there they are. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to have to drag yourself from the map, or I can drag you from your thingies. Uh, uh, and you should all be two squares large. Jebediah is two squares large. How did you... You lost your HP bar. What's going on there? It wasn't me. Happen? I don't know. Still can't find oh, myself. Go. I got you. Don't worry about it. Okay, oh, thanks. <clears throat> uh, you two up front, and then I'm going to be right behind. Okay. Good job. I would back up. Yeah, they... That's the, God, I that's love the this squad. Zoom. I love this zoom. <laughs> best zoom. Uh, <clears throat> get like right over there so that way I can like peek by. Well, like say, well, hey guys, split and then so take a shot. Who was the first person out the door who saw right, the right. kobolds? Because um, we're going to come into I, initiative the moment that you guys stepped out and saw them before you get a chance to rearrange. If you win initiative, you'll have Joker? all the time you needed. Since yeah, he was near was the, the door? Closest, yeah, I was the closest to the door. I'll say I was the first one who stepped yeah. out. That was funny. Okay. So we're going to have... Mm, I mean, I was watching outside. I feel like I would see it, saw him come up, but that's fine. Sure. Uh, will you mark the special breastplated goblin? Yes. Thank you. Oh god, there's so many. We can take them. Like, think of the XP as a mob grind. <laughs> uh, so Neil, mm -hmm. uh, the one with the breastplate. Are you marking that one all special on here? I will. I will bring him on. He will look different from all the other kobolds. Excellent. Where are you, buddy? This one right here. He's out See front. The, no, he's, he's right not there? out front. I'm okay. just showing you what the token looks like, so you will <laughs> know which yep. one. Oh, yeah, that, that one's special. Yeah, that one's clearly the special one. I just get all my kobolds like a into appropriate positions. Trash lizard as opposed to shitty dog thing. Yes, this, dog. these are the... Someone else made these tokens for us, and I don't think they realized we had dog bolds instead of lizard bolds. That's okay. I know, the trash lizards are, I think, more accurate. I also just like saying trash lizard because it's fun. It's a good name. Yeah, it is. Okay, and our lead one is uh, back here behind this largest mass of kobolds. Damn. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna have... What AC does a breastplate give you? 15. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> so let's zoom out, let chat see our mass of kobolds. And, um... Let's roll initiative. One person, roll for the party. I got it. Beautiful. Oh, ho, ho. five and five. Okay, this is gonna be impossible because the kobolds are going to attempt Man. to stop you from moving. Like, they're going to jump on whoever this is and yeah. try and keep him from moving inside. So the attacks can't resolve concurrently this time. So we're gonna go for a tiebreaker here. Reroll your initiative. Oh, right. You're going to beat him. Yeah. Party goes nice. first. There's a million kobolds, guys. Fuck. Uh, Damn, they followed us all the way here. I mean, Abner will peek out. Yep. He will notice the breastplate one. 
because he's that good, Kofi Boo. And he's going to Sun Scorch him. Excellent. You Sun Scorch or attempt to Sun Scorch the Breastplated Kobold. Yeah, I would even step out so I'm in the sun area. Okay. It's a saving throw. Nope. And passes with flying colors. You go the <gasps> the sunbeam comes down and the kobold like glances up and shifts to the side and the beam hits the ground where he was standing and uh, rather than like the grass burning and wilting away, it sort of like flourishes and becomes like this big tuft of larger, taller, lankier grass until the sunbeam disappears. So he sees I'm trying to heal him, and I sure. step back in. <laughs> then, so I can. Kinda. There's like a, a you're just shooting through like a trunk of a tree right there, you know. It's a, I'm not gonna lie, it's a difficult shot. I will give the kobold. What is this? Uh, seventy-five percent hit cover, minus seven mm. to hit. Minus seven to hit. Uh, yeah, he's got more than fifty percent for sure. Oof. Oof. So basically, I need a natural twenty to hit him. Mm-hmm. All right, then that's the case. I can actually just like walk over here and then just shoot one of these guys. Yeah, that guy. You got a clear shot on that one. No problem. Yeah, sure. Start picking them off one by one. Okay. Uh, 20. Easy hit. Roll me some damage. I don't know what his AC is, but six uh, damage. Uh, does that clear by 10? <clears throat> well, the six damage kills him outright. Okay, sweet. Are those pillars or? Those are the pillars I was talking about on the entrance way in. Yeah. Uh, anyone else in the party want to take a turn? Remember, you don't have to. You can opt to skip your turn. I'm writing an action to smack a kobold if it comes can in. You get up a little bit more. I'm just going to move up yeah. to this area and do the same thing already in action. Well, if Already. I'm starting like five feet back, does that mean that they um, they can't get around in front of me, right? Or do I have to stand like right at the door? Uh, so each of these squares is two and a half feet. We're doing half squares now. So if you want, you can stand two and a half feet back. They're small creatures. They could scamper around you. Okay, then I'll stand all the way up. That's fine. Okay. Uh, as the arrows begin to fly, the kobolds squeal with joy or terror or something. Um, they begin and to squeal. Large chunks of them move, and you can hear them beginning to crawl all over the building. Uh, their feet and claws start picking at the walls as they scamper up, and you can hear them, some of them, making it onto the roof, and you can see little kobold heads poking into the holes on the tops of the, uh, the roof. But not all of them do that. But they do surround the building on their turn. You guys probably shouldn't be able to see outside of it. We're going to give you some line of sight blockers here. Um, there we go. Can you see just your room yeah. and out the window, out the door? <clears throat> yep. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, all right, so this is the situation. Oops. And a few of these kobolds back here are going to step forward and hurl spears. Uh, of the three of you at the front... Ooh, actually, you know what? What's your AC, Joka? 14. You've got 50% cover. All right, and um, Ebner, what's your AC? Uh, 16. Okay, you're going to be the easier target because Joka is behind 50% cover, so you have effective 19 AC against kobolds. These six will show up and hurl their spears at the dwarf. Uh, we're just gonna roll it here. 60, 20, no bonuses or penalties to hit. Uh, a 16 two? and a 20 will hit oh. you. You have 16 AC? Yep, two hit. You sure you didn't charge or? <laughs> Turn your back to the kobolds right now? No, not at all. All right. Wait. Oh, because you've got studded leather, yeah? Yeah, studded leather, shield. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, it's only two regular hits against you. You will take seven points of damage as the two spears thud into you, and I will mark these kobolds as not having spears anymore with the pink dots. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, the other ones are scampering onto the roof. I'm going to make a check just to see how many of them can make it up there. Ooh, it is not very good this round. Good. Well, <clears throat> Uh, they'd have a hard time crawling or getting down from there, wouldn't they? From the roof? Yeah. They would have to dangle and drop, but you if they were to dangle and but drop, they could make it inside without falling high, damage. How high is the roof? Probably 10 you feet. Said it's a temple? Yeah. So it's probably like a 10 foot roof. If they were to fall off the roof, right. they would take damage, but a uh, hang and drop they could do. Um, oh, and then the big one special one the kobold pack leader as it may be wait i have a question mm -hmm. do you remember how the vi how the door had vines growing it and mm -hmm. it, like a bunch of them Ooh. and it was kind of hard to pass through and we never actually cut the vines down that's true <laughs> so then i would my say i have like full cover wouldn't have happened that kobold would have. still be alive um, you might have been able to go outside and then shoot and then come back in because you had a lot of movement but sure which is what i did um well we'll just remember that going forward okay okay all right. Uh, the, the I think that is. Aligned. Yeah, I think it's this is shot. everyone's turn. Let's roll initiative for next round. I'll just do it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah, okay, you got it. Cool. There we go. Uh, kobolds will go first. A few more begin to scamper up. There we go. And you can hear the claws of the kobolds and the, their feet on the rooftops and heads starting to poke in. Can I see any of them? Yes. Four kobolds will drop down on the inside of the the building this turn. Um, sort of behind the two of they'll quick two of them quickly go behind the altar. The other two will stand on either side, and noticeably they do not move towards you this round. Uh, they just sort of like take their positions here in the church. Do they care about the altar at all? Like, are they looking for like the bow or anything or no? No, they seem to just be using it as cover. Um, break, like the ones behind it are crouched down low with just their eyes peering over so they've got 90% cover the ones on the sides are sticking neck close to it so maybe 25% cover and um, uh, these I mean if I moved six, right here that would negate all their cover that would negate all of this, this guy's cover. cover totally 100% yeah yeah uh, and that's when these six are going to come in and try and overbear along with uh, these two, four. So we've got ten kobolds and sort of just like a mass scampering towards the door and they're going to throw themselves at the dwarf. Now this will provoke attacks of opportunity from all from of all. you. From all three of you here. So, um, joke up. And I you're have gonna a ready attack too. So my ready attacked and then I get how many per level? Three. three. Plus one per five levels. So you're going to get four attacks. Um, Vaughn, you're going to get four attacks as well, and Ebna gets one. Uh, one attack, yes. Perfect. So All everyone right. else make your attacks, and we'll wait for Ebna to get back. Hit, 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 hit. Uh, top and bottom were crits. Kill, kill, kill. Uh, roll double damage on the next last one. Another d10, there you go. All right, you just wipe out four right away, Joka. Sorry, I'm not full. that. Uh, Vaughn, Should I do four? Or you get four as well. How many... Okay. There are right. ten One, throwing themselves at you. Two, hit, hit, three, miss, four. hit, and your Do minimum damage is six. You will get one attack. So you kill three, and Mooted, a ten will hit. Roll me some damage. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. Four. Uh, four will live. So the ten kobolds throw themselves at you. You hack seven of them away. Only three make it through the, the slaughter and they throw themselves at Ebner. The first one is going to attempt an overbear attack and will easily hit you and the other two pile on. Ebner, I need you to make me a strength check opposed by the kobold's strength. The kobold gets a plus two bonus to the overbear attack. There are two of them. Oh, they cannot beat that. Good. Wait, maybe, maybe, hold on. It's possible. Maybe this is an exceptionally <laughs> strong kobold. 
they roll, kobolds roll 3d4 for strength. So if he rolls a 12 and a natural 20 and gets plus two, he could make it. It's possible. So we're gonna go R1d20 plus 3d4 plus two. No, no, he does not hit you at all. Uh, they hit you and start to pile on you, but they can't drag you to the ground. Um, so these three are just sort of like in here, stacked up and on you and around you. Um, so those are the first 10 in. Those are the ones go through the back. These guys are climbing up onto the roof. Roof, roof, roof. Lots of roof kobolds. You guys are all roofers. Uh, and I suppose, since there's no room on the roof for them, these guys will also come forward. And these ones have spears. And they're not going to join in the overbear. They're just going to start making stab attacks. So they're going to pile up real close right this, like this. Uh, one going after Joka. Do we have good covers? Wild we have miss. Huge vines coming through. Um, you have concealment, which is different than cover. Concealment offers you. Where's the DM screen hiding? Uh, concealment. Do 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 do. Will give you an AC bonus of like one in this okay. situation, since it's not hard cover, it's soft cover. The 19 against Vaughn. Vaughn, what's your AC? 16. Ouch. 16. Yeah. Uh, that will hit 17. then. You get stabbed for three points of damage by that kobold. Okay. This other one will step out here and hurl his spear over his buddies at Ebner. And it will... Ooh, I guess he's sort of firing into melee. Let's see if he hits Ebner or one of his kobolds. Ebner, you are size medium. They are size small. So um, D5 on a one or a two, they hit you. On a three, four, five, it targets one of the other kobolds. One will target you. So it rolls... 10 to hit you. Nope. No good. All right. No bueno. uh, And I do believe the other kobold, the special kobold, pokes his head around the corner. Good. Cast a spell. It's a motherfucking cleric. Motherfucking cleric. Jeez. Um, that kobold is going to cast... No, none of those are fun spells. What's a fun spell for a kobold to cast on you? Your modern wounds. <laughs> Very Ooh, fun. He does not have heat metal. What a shame. What a shame. Would that do shame. anything if we have... Uh, he can cast it on your weapon. Leather. Yeah, I guess none of you guys oh. are holding metal weapons in your hands. You all have wooden hafts. I guess it is. Uh, he doesn't have heat metal. Yeah, it's quite useful. Shit, I don't think he has any good combat spells. Good. Oh, yes, he does. Okay. Yes, he does. The kobold casts silence, 15 foot radius. This is a, a <laughs> classic kobold technique of silencing an area so they can lay their trap and ambush their enemies. And in this case, the silence is being used on the caster who attempted to Sunscorch. So a 15-foot radius is going to be... And what does silence um, do exactly? There can be no sounds emitted or coming out or anything. So if my spell doesn't so require it... sound, we're good. Yes. Yeah, if it does have verbal components. I don't see Sunscorch having verbal components. And have uh, that big V, that's what you're looking for? I think and this it doesn't is... follow... It doesn't follow, like, it wouldn't follow Ebner, right? It's just centered on uh, Ebner. Right. There. No one had to make a saving throw, okay. so it's not centered on any person. It's centered on the, okay. the physicality of the space here. Gotcha. And I believe this is the right size for our... Our nonsense. Uh, our maybe a little bit smaller. Um, so here is our silence aura. Not that you guys will know exactly how big it is, but uh, you are all silenced. You cannot hear each other or speak to each other or hear any other sounds. And let's okay. roll initiative. Um, it's our Second. turn. <laughs> um, Second I actually shots? don't see the silence aura. I'm sorry. I, I know, I hit was... it from you, so you won't be able to see it. Oh. Second shot for Jeb. Uh, Wait, oh, was we it all there? go, right? They went first with the... I'm sorry, they went first. You're right, they totally went first. Yeah. Third turn. 
Okay. Thank you for catching me on that one. Yeah, and then, so question. So I had a ready action to swing my axe. So I did swing my axe last round, technically correct. So I still do get two attacks this round, even though it was yeah. a ready to action that swing my axe. That's fine. Okay. And the same yeah. thing for, for me, right? So then I'll just do two yeah. attacks on the kobold uh, behind me and then the one right in front of, uh, or that tried to grab Ebner. Mm-hmm. 12 and an 11. Those will both hit. Nine and 12. Nine and 12. You slay two kobolds. Okay. Yeah. Face the front. I'm going to attempt to stab one kobold. Go for it. No. Nope. You give me a saving throw versus death here, Mr. Mooton. Uh, Your stab saving. goes wide. Might you attack Vaughn? No. No. Not at all. It's fine. Whew. All right. Uh, that guy right there. Give me a shot. Nope. Who pings off the me. altar next to it? Um, that one hits it though. For two damage. Uh, Vaughn? Oh, good. He had like four. Mm -hmm. All right. I will attack the one that's in front of me, and then I'll attack the one that uh, is uh, attempted to pull down Ebner. The one okay. that's in me. One in front of you that's swinging a hit. Yep. There's your damage. And then the one behind me is a swing and a hit as well. All right, Which will kill it off. Alright, now we roll initiative. Jam, huh? You sure you want right. to roll a gem? You'll get it this time. I mean, you sure you want to roll it? <laughs> you know what? I'm rolling I well. It, guys. Oh, I right. got it. Oh, Will, Will's got it. Will it's always fine. rolls high. One incoming. Whoa, only on my damage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the party goes first. Alright, unfinish that guy off. How long are each uh, round one minute roughly one minute so is the silence still on yeah cool. silence will last for are you a fucking while. kidding me oh, oh my god the kobold's fine doesn't care about the arrow it's not fine it's just still alive still alive 100 percent power 25 percent life any other actions oh, i want the kobold step. in front of me Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna step right here. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Ten hit the kobold. Yes, it will. Oh, uh, wait a minute. No, there's one in the vines, right? The vines given it a soft cover of one AC. That is a, a nine, sir, and it misses the kobold. Thanks, Ebner. Right. Hey, it helped me earlier. It would have helped me from seven damage. Um. Okay. Can I like try to speak? Can do I hear anything out of my voice? You hear nothing. Really? Where Silence. I am still? Silence. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to where I was then. Alright. Um I'm fine, right? Yeah, tons of movement. Hell, another fifteen feet of movement. You're twenty-five feet of movement. I'll go here and I'll attempt to stab this cobalt even though it will do nothing. Give him a stabby stabby at minus one to hit. You critical the crap out of it. Ooh. Roll me through yeah, you're gonna kill it. It dies. I'm also gonna show him my shield and like point to it, and um, you know, try to dissuade him, if you will. By pointing to your shield? Like sh my shield shows him like uh, it has the big cl uh, the cleric of tempo symbol on it. That is my holy symbol. I'm gonna like show him my shield and like point at it and like put my hands up and be like, "What are you doing?" Like stuff like that. Mm hmm. Try to try my best, but. Hmm. All right. Um, any other actions? Is that everybody? Uh, um, yes. I don't. I I didn't. I don't think I moved right. I don't uh, because we had. You haven't yeah, done no, anything. Yeah. No, I don't I think didn't do done anything. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to move to this kobold that got missed or uh, rolled low damage before. Mhm. Mm and I'm going to attack it. And you will murder it. It dies on the spot, bloody to the ground. Nice. But it is now the kobold's turns, and a few more are going to drop down from the ceiling. Dish, 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 dish. Dish, dish, dish. And these, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, are all going to swarm you, Vaughn. You can go ahead and make your mm -hmm. three opportunity attacks. 
as these kobolds right. surround you Hell and yeah. try and drag you down. Okay. One attack. Hit. You fend Two the first attack. one off, the second one off, the three third attack. one. You slay three of the monsters. Three. You okay. cannot not kill them. They have a maximum yeah. of six hit points. <laughs> I have to roll the damage anyway. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> that's to, fine. It's totally fine. Try to be, try to be consistent. All right. I so mean, that's they one single crit and two double crits. They <laughs> grab onto you and begin to drag you to the ground. You make me a strength check against the kobolds. Absolutely. Three d four. Four eight nine ten eleven strength on this kobold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be a d20 plus 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. D20 plus 17, and... Literally have to D20 roll a, plus a 20 to just tie it. Ugh, god damn it. <laughs> that was close, though. So, <laughs> just off by zero, yeah. Uh, <laughs> These creatures are all around you. They might not have dragged you to the ground. You might not be entirely overbared, yeah. but they are like clinging right. to you and you're covered in kobolds. You're gonna have major gotcha. penalties to do anything because you're just, you're crawling with creatures. Okay. Uh, and what are we gonna do about these ones? Uh, this guy's already thrown his spear. He should have a yellow, a pink dot. Uh, you guys have already killed the other ones that have piled in on the first overbear attempt. So these guys are going to stand out here. Spears readied. These guys are climbing. Um, and our big kobold, our, our one with the breastplate, is going to scamper forward and stab Ebner. Fuck him. Fuck him, no, no, fuck you. <laughs> Actually, fuck him. What do you roll? <laughs> Rolled a natural one, of course he does. Hey, um, the, himself. He doesn't even make it to you. He like runs forward with the spear, but it tips and it gets stuck on the ground and he like stabs the spear into the earth and just like gets stuck. And uh, the other kobolds take this as a sign to assault. Um, let's see. They don't want to overbear in this small, tight area with so many of you. So I think these ones are all going to hurl spears at Ebner. All these other ones out here. Oh, joy. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, six, seven. Seven attacks against you, Ebner. One D20, no, no. Seven D20, what's your AC? 17. 17. One hit, one. one of these spears nice. will strike you square <laughs> in the leg for six points of damage. Gets near that femoral artery, not enough to slit it, but enough to maybe gently, very gently nick it. And uh, you can feel warmth running down your leg like you haven't felt since you were a very young dwarf. Yes, that is a bedwetting joke. Very good. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Uh, whoops, I'm thinking, sorry, this guy's supposed to be here. And the rest of these kobolds are doing their thing. Perfect. Um, let's roll initiative. Uh, second attack. Second attack, yes. Uh, I'm gonna attack this guy. Do I get a back attack on him? Yes. Uh, he's also crawling on Vaughn. So at this point, you're if you miss him, you're gonna be like hitting Vaughn or something else nearby. It's not gonna be a good thing. Okay. So you're gonna miss the kobold and target, give me a... Give you another roll to hit. See, give, yeah, there's gonna, uh, let me just, roll me a d6. And a five or a six will target Vaughn. <laughs> give me a roll to hit against Vaughn. Don't worry guys, this is when I get my natural 20. Oh, okay, 11. 11. Plus two you is 13? Uh, Still doesn't so, matter. No, that's it. already got the plus two with it. Okay. Still doesn't matter. Uh, an arrow it sticks in Vaughn's armor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My Shoot. back AC is 14 here. Yeah. All right. Someone roll initiative Start for the party. I'm going to go ahead and take over this initiative rolling here. I believe in. That's nice. Seven. Thank you so much. I really needed that. So these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
three, four, five, six, seven. See, seven kobolds are on you, and uh, they've already grabbed onto you, so no more opportunity attacks, but they are going to try and drag you to the ground. So give me a 1d20. Uh, give me a strength check versus their 24. Okay, so I just click strength, right? Yep. yep. On, uh, you want to roll under a 24. Perfect. You the kobolds drag you to the ground. They have you pinned. They've got your arms over here. They've got your legs over here. One of them is like grabbed onto your ears and is pulling your head down. It's Gulliver's Travels all over again. And that is when four other kobolds will drop from the ceiling and run over to your prone body and stab at you while you're being held down. Um, they will all get plus four to hit because you are prone and you get no dexterity modifiers to this either. You just get your armor, which okay. is so, uh, uh, yeah, my, four. Four. Okay, so they need yeah. to roll a 10 or higher to hit you. 40, 20, 10 or higher. Uh, one will hit you and one will double crit you. He rolls a 24 versus your 14. So one will do 3d6 yep. and one will do 1d6. Oh, There yeah. was a one in there. Is that one going to hit one of the other kobolds? Yeah. He'll make a saving throw and roll an 18 and it won't hit another kobold, unfortunately. I do love yeah, it when there is collateral friendly fire. Uh, 18 on the saving the, throw. This, shouldn't you be doing the same shit that I did? On All a right. miss? Wait. So like, the, what, what you have is like kobolds crawling over Va Vaughn and you're trying to hit mm -hmm. a kobold, but if you miss the kobold, you're going to hit Vaughn. Now Vaughn is like laid out on the ground and these guys are stabbing over him. So they're not like stabbing past their allies. Still having kobolds crawling all over him. Well, the kobolds are like pulling him in different directions. Have you ever seen ants fight other ants or fight like, like the kobolds a, a have to spider? be on top of him, like bearing him down. You yeah, but they'll be bearing head. on arms and legs and these guys are stabbing for the, the stomach. They're used to, to pulling their enemies to the like stretching their enemies out like this in different directions, exposing this like this big belly side. It's the so if uh, if I don't get dex, I'm sorry, I, mm -hmm. I just need to clarify this. So of course, if I don't get time. any dex bonuses, my normal dex bonus, uh, I think it's two, right? So how how is it? Ten? They need to get ten or better. Ah, I, so I it would be they get a plus four a... to hit when you're on your when you are prone and on your back oh, like this. Yeah, 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 got it, got it, there got it. Go. That's fine. Cool. Cool. So yeah. let's roll some damage here. Uh, the first regular hit does four, and the the double crit, the three d six, will do twelve, which is just about average. Four and twelve. Oh, or a total shit. of what is that? Four and twelve is sixteen. Four and twelve is sixteen. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. And you are just like surrounded by these little buggers. Yeah. Um, it All ain't right. looking good for you. Uh, this one's gonna drop from the ceiling and scurry over and attack our archer friend. Uh, with a seventeen to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. You will take two points of damage as that kobold skewers you with a spear. All these other guys out here have made their attacks last round with their spears. They have no weapons left. And the kobold outside says a word. You have no idea what it is, but the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kobolds plus this guy all swarm you. He comes first with the other ones on his back. Uh, you will both get opportunity attacks. One, each of you get one against this guy and then Joka will get two against the others. Miss. Nice. 18 will hit him, Joka. Um, and the others will hit the other people. Oh, I'm sorry, I rolled one more. One too that's many. That's fine. Sorry. Uh, so that's uh, one, two, three. So that's 10 and then seven, nine. Holy crap. So you whap the lead kobold. You knock the, the little plate mail thing to the side as the ax hits his rib cage. He gives a <laughs> um, And then two other kobolds go down. But he isn't dead, and so his attacks go through, and he will attempt to overbear the dwarf. Uh, give me a strength check, dwarf. But he rolls a natural 20. 21. So, 20. It's fine. He you need to roll a 38. No, I rolled a 21. <clears throat> All right. So, they're in here now, and you too. I'm just going to move you to the side so I can make a marking on him. We'll move you back. Uh, that is being held, apparently. And then you can come back here. And this guy's on you, and this one's here, Wait. and this one's here. Oh, Ooh, this guy had 
Ah, didn't do that yet. He's still got a spear yet. This guy's here. They're just like piled in here all over the place. And this last spearman is gonna come over here and just stab at Joka with a tag so, to hit. Yeah, that's no good. That's yeah, no good. All right. Kobold's turns, party's turn. All right. Uh, I get two attacks this round. I want to hit the big dude twice. Uh, give me your attack rolls. Yeah, I'm going to let him yeah, do that. I just figure that needs to go. Nice. Yes and yes. 19 <laughs> yes. and 21 yes. will hit. 21 will nice. clear by five will crit. Roll me another d10 Ooh. on there. That's eight. And that is a 16, 16 damage. <laughs> You kill the kobold with the breastplate on. You oh, splatter yeah. his guts alongside the wall. His amulet of Martha, which you didn't even realize he was wearing, flies off of his decapitated corpse and pings against the stones <coughs> lying in the corner. Yeah. It's like, it was, you, oh, is the silence gone? Silence is, ooh, good question. I think the silence vanishes when he dies. Yes. Guys, I got him. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, at that point, I'll just toss my bow over here, the mm -hmm. one that I'm using, and I'll pull out my shield, just holding it in my hand, not, not strapped down, my spear. Mm -hmm. And can I, like, um, poke one of the guys that's on top of Ebner? Totally. Oh, wait, I'm Excellent. not overbearing anymore. Uh, you still are, because there's, right? like, no, all yeah. of them overbear you together. Yeah. Yeah. Do I get any modifications to hit Two. since they're... Two. Oh. Two. Excellent. Fuck. Ooh, no good. Uh, roll a d10, mm. don't roll a nine no. or a ten. No. No. It, it's that, it That's right, no, because they're overbearing and pulled them off in the drive. Good, good, good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're good. So you just stab and miss. Uh, Joka? No, you already made your attacks. Vaughn, you are surrounded by kobolds, pinned to the ground. Yeah. You are, your yeah. arms and limbs are all pulled in every direction. What are you going to do? Over to daddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to get back to my feet if that's possible. I don't, what do I need to do to pass a strength check? Yeah, yeah, pass the strength checks against their, they rolled what, 11 and six. They rolled a D20 plus 17 and you have to beat a D20 plus 17. They yeah, they'd be, you have to be a 24. Uh, oh, they rolled well. You can still do it. 12. You can do it. All you right. can do it. Roll 13. Oh. Yep, you struggle against them. But just like Gulliver, it's no use. <laughs> this, is this an action to get up? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. That's bullshit. Can I heal myself when I'm down? Uh, touch my hand? No, if your arms are pinned, you can't use anything with somatic components. Oh, okay. Did uh, getting right. that other big one killed off of him not free up any of them? Did that not, what was the big guy holding on him? Uh, the big guy was holding on to, oh, you mean on Ebner? Yeah. Considering I have no idea where he was right holding. Here. Yeah. Uh, maybe he was holding like, uh, I think how maybe... many kobolds on him? One, two, three, four. Considering he's like a significant figure, maybe it gives him a free strength check to break free we'll True. just use the other kobold strength he had max strength for a kobold so any strength checks ebner's make will roll against the highest strength of one of the kobolds here so uh ebner, are you making a strength check yep yeah i did it and there are four there are five of them so uh, i'm gonna roll 3d4 five times that'll be the highest strength one two three four wow these are fucking brutally strong kobolds. So they get a 1d20 plus 12 plus 4 for a 22. You can rip yourself free of these guys. You are free, Ebna. You're I free. can't really do anything, right? No, that's like your whole turn to get free. Okay, somebody roll initiative. I got it. Yes. You got it. There it is, the big number. Jeez. 
I will say, Neil, I don't like rolling like this. This is some weird shit. It's oh. what we have to do right now. I know, I know. There's too many enemies for it to be otherwise. It also yeah. gives the smaller party an advantage because you can coordinate your efforts rather than having all of you split up by the enemies. It's actually highly advantageous oh. for the smaller Not group. Not when there's a silence spell. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, because otherwise, like, you might go, <laughs> yeah. but then, like, six kobolds go. And so if you move away from the party, those six kobolds can, like, surround you and, like, Keep, oh. keep coordinating each of you off. Um, your action okay. economy is best if you can work with your allies and, and when you're in smaller okay. numbers. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I understand. Four of the kobolds sorry, will now okay. stab at Vaughn at plus four to hit. They only need a ten to hit you, and you're only at three HP. Say hello to Calum for me. Yeah. One hit, one crit. <laughs> That's going to be... The regular hit is six points of damage. Oh, my God. You're at negative three. And the crit, if it deals seven, you're dead. Two and two for four. You are at negative seven, seven HP and bleeding to death. Um, so the four will stab at you. The others will see that you are limp and let you go and throw themselves okay. Uh Jebediah, make me three opportunity attacks as the kobolds try yeah. to pounce on you. Uh, do I get a plus four to hit and damage because they are attacking me at unarmed? Ooh, I always forget about that rule. Definitely not the damage. The plus four to damage is dumb. Um, uh, someone please record that. Uh, put that in a clip so we can play that back at Neil whenever he, he tries yeah. to do that at us. And we can <laughs> just should. spam that in chat. My yeah, opinion please. on all of these rules changes on a daily basis. So, um, 11, 12, 26. Roll me some damages. The 26 will right. definitely kill. Yeah. So there's the first one that's a kill. Ooh, kill. Second one is kill. a kill. And the third one is definitely yeah. a kill. So a 64, just because mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Okay. The remaining four try to overbear you. They roll a 16 to hit you, which will grab you. Make me a strength check. Oh my fucking god. Wait, does the 16 actually? Because you have a shield? Uh, my AC is 1 5. Yeah. Uh, their best strength is an 8, so they roll 1d20 plus 8 plus 3, 21. So they will Jeez. overbear you. I'm just going to move you slightly away from everyone so we can see what's yeah. happening. Um, and these four will overbear you. You are dragged to the ground. Uh, and then we have these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other kobolds here. Only one of them has a spear, and he's going to stab at Joka. Natural 20. Yeah, that'll do that. That'll, uh, that'll crit. That will crit too, yeah. You will That's take true. eight points of damage. And the remaining one, two, three, four, five unarmed ones. Uh, uh, two of them are just going to scratch at you, Joker. They're just going to make claw attacks like so they were doing before. Be opportunity attacks? No, yes, it is. they didn't get. Yes, it oh, is. yes, you got opportunity attacks last time. Go yeah. ahead, make your two opportunity attacks. Uh, actually, they're all going to scratch at you. So go ahead and make three opportunity attacks. Hit, hit, hit. Probably kill, kill, kill. Get out of here. Yep. Get out of here with these kobolds. <laughs> How about a... Uh, <sighs> these other ones are going to keep scratching at you, too. So these two will each get two scratch attacks uh, for 1d2 damage. Okay. Uh, a 19 and an 18. A 6 and an 18. Yeah, so they'll... Three, three hit. hit. Yeah. Three, you have 14 AC? 14, yeah. Okay, so... One of them will crit you because it's from behind, and the other one will hit you. Wait, is that the regular hit? This one should have minus matter. one. It yeah. would still be 15, but, yeah. which would still. Yeah, yeah, this guy didn't hit. This We're talking about the, the guys in pink over here. So we're going to do 2d2 plus 1d2 plus 1d2, right? It was 18, 19, 8, 18. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, three hits. 2d2 plus 2d2. Uh, six damage as okay. the kobolds scratch at you. Hopefully you don't get kobold scratch fever. It's a terrible disease. That's why I lost my hearing, actually. It's a good batch, though. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, Vaughn, since you are unconscious and bleeding to death, why don't you roll us initiative? 
Whoa, I don't uh, get my attacks? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah, the whole party's Calm turn. Calm down, Neil. Yeah. Party's turn, right, party's so turn. I'm going to make a strength check to try and get out of this. Go for it. What did they roll against you last time? They, they rolled they a... They can't. They can't beat that. Eight plus three. They're going to they try, cannot. man. They're going to try. Okay. 1d20 plus eight plus three. No. You burst free. I burst free. And... Uh, you scatter these guys off of you. You shake yourself free. You can move, but no more actions. Would you say yeah. that they fall to the ground and are like incapacitated while they're trying to get back up? Because he broke <laughs> free so strongly, Neil. I would not say that, but it sounds like you might. I would try to. I'll remember that for the next time we play D and D, and you're um, my DM. <laughs> One day. Uh, Here we go. Someone else go. Yeah, uh, Joker. Why don't you go? Um, do I have one or two attacks? I'm sorry, I lost count. I think it's just one this turn. I think I it's one this turn. Okay. Yeah, because last turn we killed the fucking The big dude, yeah. And that yeah, was yeah. two attacks on him. Okay, so I'm going to wheel around and hit this guy behind me. Mm-hmm. Back him one good Holy in the face. Holy shit. He's, dead. He's so dead. Shit. Any morale And then I'm going to back up over here into the corner. Wait, I'm going to heal him before he does that. All right, he will get one opportunity... This other guy gets an opportunity to attack at you, but you've got like, since you're moving in that direction, you'll have like plus five to AC. So does cover. he get an opportunity without his weapon? Uh, oh, no, you're right. This guy <laughs> won't get an opportunity. This guy will, but he'll have to roll a 20, a natural 20 to hit you, which he does. Holy shit. Wait, there's a plus one too? Did you catch? Yeah, yeah, a natural thanks. 20 is always a hit, no matter what. Yeah, natural 20 is um, So good. he will hit you for two points of damage as you back into the corner. I All hit right, you so for three. So I gain one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Jinx. Joker? No, uh, uh, Jebediah. Uh, the strength check was my. Oh, right. And Ebna. He healed, uh, he healed. He healed me. He healed Perfect. Me. Initiative. Kobold's rolled a six. I got I'm going to go ahead and take this one okay. back over again. Oh, I'm feeling you it. Got what it? about, okay. what yeah. about poor dying Vaughn? He's at negative seven. Ooh, such a, He's going to have to wait. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes shit happens, man. That <laughs> that's good. That's no. good. I gotta get these low rolls out of the way so that way we're So is he about to go to negative numbers. eight then, correct? Yes, yes, on the party's turn, he will go to negative eight. Yeah. Okay, so you got negative eight. Okay. Uh, all right. Rest of the party? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to attack this kobold that's directly below me. Why? Um, oh, oh, no, that, not that number. My goodness. <laughs> Wait, why is this happening? So if you do uh, if you do plus or minus, that'll do the math oh. and it'll add or subtract that amount. So you're gonna okay. want to add like 15 or something no, to that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fucking one off. Right. There, you there go. we go. Uh, uh, one sorry. off. You do not kill the the kobold below you. I'm Rest of the party. Um, I'm gonna step forward and I'm gonna smack the unarmed kobold first. Oh yeah. No oh, yeah. For a seven. And then that's just because I was wheeling around to hit the one outside first. That's mm. really the one I was trying to hit. For a 17. 17. There you go. You kill the one outside with the spear. No problem. I'm going to have to attack this one. All right. You can do it, but poor... actually, just kidding. Poor I'm going, I can't, well, I can't run over there, Neely. They're all going to beat me up. That sounds yeah. like your problem. Uh, that sounds so, like Vaughn's problem. Um, these guys, uh, so all of these guys don't mm -hmm. yeah. have spears. Oh, they're not marked, so I was confused. They don't have spears? Yeah, because they overbared me. Oh, right. So their spears are, like, scattered yeah. around right. in the back. I'm running here then, Neil. Okay. Godspeed. Yeah. You run as fast as your dwarf legs will carry you. you push past the kobolds who only have their, their claws out. And reach down. I'm going to heal him. You touch Vaughn in a way that he's been touched before many, many times by you. <laughs> uh, he great. automatically just goes to one HP. If he's at negative... And he yeah. receives any healing, uh -huh. it just goes to one. Um, <laughs> oh, and he's up. just wow. gonna, he's mm -hmm. not up and capable of fighting because he's down for a round. Yeah. So he's alive and he's not gonna die, but he is effectively useless. If you look right. at the Google, the combat and tactics, yep. second edition, and But if I no, heal him yeah. again, he'll be fine. Look at the death right. doorstep rule. Uh, no, he cannot receive any more magical healing until he's had at least one night of rest okay. to I gain anything else. <laughs> yeah, you could nap him, actually. I'm not gonna wait an hour. <laughs> Uh, is that the end of the party's turn? I do believe it's the kobold's turn now. Yep. Okay. 
Oh, housekeeping, that one outside should be alive till the end of this turn. So if it wants to stab at me, it still can. Oh, because you get your second attack at the end of the round? Okay, he'll stab yeah. at you right now. Seven is a miss. Uh, yep. And he dies. And these four that were stabbing over Vaughn. Uh, let's see. This guy's going to go back and grab a weapon. This guy's going to step away and grab a weapon. That'll provoke an opportunity attack from you. If you'd like to hit him. Uh, what if I want to do it on the one that's going to try to overbear me in a second? Then you can wait. You don't have to use it now. I'm going to wait. Okay, you wait. He grabs a weapon. This one will step away and grab a weapon. Uh, Joe, uh, J uh, Jebediah, opportunity oh, yeah, attack. Absolutely. Absolutely. 19 Perfect. will hit. Kill him. And Kill. we'll slay him. This one will scamper Kill. and grab a weapon. Uh, I'll opportunity attack him. Okay, go for it. Hit. Hit. Kill. Killed. Uh, this one realizes, oh no. This isn't working. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, I'm standing on the amulet of Martha. Oh my god, our lead kobold is dead. The bit, the top dog is down. Um, and the one, two, three, four, five, six. So he, he does nothing. Not yet. He's going to wait until after these two come over here. Um, like this. And they're going to attack Joka. One from behind with a seven plus two is nine. And one from your flank which is a seven plus one is eight. Uh, this one is going to come and stab the dwarf with a 10 plus one is 11, no good. No. This one will come and stab the dwarf with a 16 plus one is 17. Yes. Yeah, he skewers you through the stomach for three points of damage. Um, this kobold over here will stand on Vaughn and stab at you as well for a 16 to hit. Yep. for two points of damage and one, this yeah. kobold is gonna attack he can't quite get to the dwarf so he's just gonna attack the the archer with his spear for 11 and nope. this one down here has no weapon attack me do it do it he will disengage oh and go pick up a weapon wait he was the one that was really scared was he, shouldn't he just leave can he, he can. do that through? Can he do that going through two? Oh wait, no, you already used yours, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, he can go through allied squares and. No, I was talking about going past. Uh, oh, the past dwarf him. and myself, but then yeah. he's like dwarf already got his off and. Right. I saw it and a disengage. Part. I think works on all enemies. All right, initiative. Somebody. I, I'm bringing it home. I got it. Oh, okay, don't Oops, they should not. Then. They ruled a, a nine. Oh, yeah, Did brother. Seven. Bring it home. I was feeling it. Nice. Joker gets a two. I'm going to take turn. a massive swig of my holy water that healed me earlier. All right. You pull out. You, you're fending off the kobolds left and right. You get a hand on your water skin. Uncork it. Drink it. You feel delicious fresh water flowing through your body. But no healing. <laughs> Motherfucker. Is that a full action then for he for drinking? Yep, consuming a potion is an action. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, uh, you're a funny guy, Neil. Yep, I get I'll get. Or right, go ahead. Yeah. Attack this guy. Um. Spear. Yeah, oh, that is a murder stroke if I've ever heard one. Oh my God. Three HP kobold never stood a chance. Remove kebab. Okay. Anybody else? Joka? Yep. Two attacks. Five and a six. So these two dudes are still going to be hanging out. They are happy where they're standing. They sure are. Um, that's a whole party. Yeah. Kobold's turn. Oh, I wanted to turn too. Because this uh, back attack is some bullshit. That's fine. So against Joka, two flank attacks plus one each. An 18 and a 13. One of them will do damage. Four and you points. Get both do. AC's 14. Wait, which oh. one gets the flank? No, did I say. You said uh, a 13. You already added it, I think. Oh, yeah, I already, already added the plus one. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Then, yeah, we're good. I'm sorry. Okay. Actually, the, the 13 was the one who was scratching at you, so I think you get an opportunity attack against him. And he gets second attack is an 18 plus one is a 19. So um, the, he misses with one attack, he hits you with a claw with the mm -hmm. other attack. I which will him. do one point of damage to you, and the guy above you did hit you with a spear for two points of damage, and the guy before you, in front of you, rolls a 15? Uh, 15 will hit. 
four, three points of damage. God, these kobolds are great. Uh, this one is doesn't have enough room for a charge, but he will come after you, Jebediah, with a, a mm -hmm. vicious cry and stab at you with a 17 to hit. Oh my God. Yeah, that'll hit. Law of large numbers, you put enough kobolds against the enemy and some of them are gonna hit and do damage. Yeah, uh, he will hit you for six. Most of them have missed. Most of them have done yeah. jack all. And these yeah. three against Ebner. Oh, buddy Ebner. Uh, they got you in a, yeah, not I mean, a quite a full spot. corner, but it's a tight spot for certain. Mm -hmm. The one from in front rolls a 17. The one yeah. on the bottom rolls a 10. The one on the top yeah. rolls a two. No. 17's a hit though. It rolls, does 1d6 points of damage. Let's roll it in Twitch. Oh, well. uh, one point of damage to you. Yes. God damn. <laughs> Hang in Initiative. There. All right, uh, I believe. Eight, you gotta beat an eight, you can do it. You've got 70% chance of beating it. All right, it's a tie. Everything happens at the same time, boys. Perfect. Everything's at the same time. I whack um, a kobold. You're gonna whack two. Whack kobold. Uh, only one, I got two last round. Oh, I see. Oh, that's 10 damage, not 10 to hit. 10, got which it. Which one yes, are you killing? Uh, top one. All right, I'm gonna mark them with an X so I can take their attacks at the end of the round. Um, Jeb? All right, I'm... Um, mm. I'm gonna take a risky game here. Mooten yeah, heals definitely. himself? Sorry. Yep. Oh, oh, if he heals himself, then I don't need to take that much of a risky game. Um, yeah, sorry. Then I'll Cure just... moderate wounds, that's my last one. All right, yeah, then I'll take, I'll attack the one that attacked me. He is gonna die. Unless you can do less than three, you cannot. He will die. Okay, so now we get three kobold attacks against Joka. Two. Twelve. Oh, three. Yeah, three. he lives still right. Yeah. Uh, so Sorry. the top one rolls a 12 and misses. The one in front of you rolls a four and misses. The one on the bottom <laughs> provokes an attack of opportunity, but rolls a two and a 20. <gasps> the 20 will crit you, I believe. It the will. kobold scrambles up underneath your reach as you swing at him. Your axe goes overhead. He crawls up, scrambles up your front, and pokes you in the eyes with his fingers, critically hitting you for... That's alone. For three damage. You've been... Kobold. Kobold. Oh. You've been kobold. You've been poked. Shit. What are the three stooges' names? You've been kobold. Mary, Mo. You've been Larry, mowed. Larry. Larry. Yeah, you've been larried or curlied or mowed. I don't remember. Who gets their eyes poked? One of them. All of them. All, All okay, of them. cool. Uh, Jeb, one kobold against you is a 12 to hit. Nope. And the three on the dwarf. Eight, two, and one. No. And the one fails to saving throw with another natural one, which is another saving throw, which he passes. So uh, what is the worst thing you can do when you try and stab a dwarf? I think it's an attack against your ally. Uh, and not just any old attack, because he rolled a one. I think he goes to like overhand stab you and lets go, and it like sails across the room towards his ally, uh, oh. like this. So he makes a ranged attack against the back of his ally. A ten plus two is twelve. Oh, Why hey. don't you roll me one d six damage, uh, Ebner? What? Four is exactly enough. He kills his ally and loses his spear. That kobold's had a bad day. Um, okay. Initiative. We've all had a bad day here. I got bring it. Home. I was going to say, yeah. You got it? <laughs> right, Can you beat a three, on. though? Ooh, no. No, you cannot. The kobolds go first. This right. little guy, he's right up and close to you. He's got the, like, he just Larry Curly mowed you in the face. And I think he's at close enough range that he will not provoke attacks of opportunity as he scratches you with a uh, two and mm. a six. No, he's already no, no. up there. He's already poking you in the eyes. He's like, you know, he's a small little dog, man. He's too close to hit with your big two-handed woodcutter's axe. Uh, and then these three guys down here will make attacks against the dwarf again. 13, There's going to be a holy eight. crusade against these kobolds. None against the kobolds. Yeah, right. there will be a Tempo's crusade. Tempo's crusade. <laughs> Party's turn. Kobold next to me just poked me. I throw him onto the ground and I just split him in half. Yeah, you yeah, do. You. Yeah, you do. He's gone. Vengeance. Step 13 up will hit. One right next to Jeb. And Four I will kill. I'm attacking this one. Yeah, and I clear the well. I do this four to this one or three to this one. Three to this. He survives. Oh, right. my God. 
four to this guy. Four uh, to that guy. Shit. Uh, no, I did your four damage to the guy, this guy right here already. Oh wait, why? The one with no spear? You think I would attack that one? Sure. Okay. <laughs> then I'll just move this guy here, and I'll. Just... Hey, that's fine. That's fine. Let's do this. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'm. I missed him. Missed oh, him give me a saving throw versus death, Jeb. Fuck. It's not a bad fail. Though. It's not that bad. Um, I think you just drop your spear. You know, you, okay. you stab at him. The kobold like whaps your hand on the spear and the spear falls to the ground at your feet. And uh, the party will take a penalty of one to their initiative next round as a result. Uh, but okay. in the meantime, oh, that is the party's turn right now. Okay, initiative. And you guys get a penalty of one. Four? Because I dropped Joker my dropped spear. his spear. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Spoken Jeb. A joke and Jeb. God damn it. The kobolds go first. This one turns to face. No, this They're still not running, Neil. Kobolds. Yeah, these are the bravest kobolds I've ever seen in my life. You're right. <laughs> this is weird. Kobolds should not be fighting to the last man. Usually, uh, once they no longer have three yeah. to one numbers, they break and flee. That these kobolds are fighting to the last man is a real oddity here. This is borderline unnatural. Um, this kobold will turn towards Joka, real Joka, not. Neil can't pronounce his name, and stab at you with a 14 to hit. That'll hit. For six points of damage, he guts oh. you right under the chin. Blood starts to flow from your face. The this guy down here. Down, it seals back up because I'm perfectly unconscious. This one right here will pick up the pickaxe from... Uh, Spoken. Uh, Vaughn. Vaughn. You know how big a pickaxe is? He's going to have disadvantage on the attack roll because it's way too heavy for him to wield. Wait, the pickaxe or the sledgehammer? The pickaxe. Okay. Yeah. I have a pickaxe as well. Uh, and he swings it at the dwarf for a six. Thank God he has disadvantage. Otherwise, that would have hit you hard. Yeah. Um, and it is the party's turn. I'm yeah. casting Sun Scorch on this. You're inside yeah. a building. There's, yeah, but there's a big finish. ray of sun Aww. coming in. Neil, That's true. Remember that huge ray of light? Um... The ceiling. He would have to be it in a spot the that it, the the ray of light is hitting. Uh, it's pretty close to the altar. All right. mm, it's not close enough. I was doing it for flavor, Neil. I understand. But, him. but the reason I'm rejecting it is because otherwise the other kobolds would have sun scorched you. It's fine. He's waiting for someone to come out the building to do it. Uh, Mutin will hit for three damage, killing it. Can anyone hit this guy for one? Uh, no, because I rolled a three, natural three. Okay. This guy's gonna be a legend. Initiative. Yeah. I got it. It's gonna take everybody down. God damn it! I All right. Him. Make your attack rolls. Miss. It dies. I go nice. up and pick up Vaughn with the help of Jeb, and we put him in the fountain. Yeah. Uh, don't put him in the fountain, <laughs> but yeah, I go and retrieve my bow. I'll drink out of the Seven. fountain first, see if it helps me. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just clean water now. Shit okay. water. I'll oh. drink out of the fountain. It's, it, well, it's also clean the, water. Just regular water now. Water. Okay. Yep. okay. I'll heal my it friend was, up. You were all uh, blessed for a moment there as you were healed okay. by the fountain before, but now it is just regular water. All right. So I, I think we should yep. stay in here for the night. I healed you. Uh, I know you're here. Too. Are you not concerned that there may be reinforcements arriving? To be fair, we killed everybody, but yeah, there could be reinforcements. You killed all the ones that stuck around. Does it mean that... run? But how far can we get dragging two bodies? That's true. Well, well one have should be up. And I got magical he healing in my backup because I wasn't negative, or am I still unconscious for a amount of time? Uh, that like? No, you were at zero, I... so you're stable. You can walk around. You guys would yeah. just have to help Vaughn yeah, hobble. HP. No, I'm still at one, right? I just have to carry the heaviest member oh, you, of the party. Did you give me any HP? No, you, no, you can't you're, give me any you're HP, done. right? Uh, okay, he has okay. eight HP, though. Five, six, seven, right. eight. Oh, three. I'm sorry. You're fine. Yeah, we're going to drag his ass, and we're going to run as far as we can. Okay. Uh, get anything you might have dropped, boys. Uh, are any of my arrows recoverable? Yeah. I'm gonna go grab that amulet of Martha and go pat down the big one, see if he's got anything else on him. Or is he just a just big dog, the, man? the big awkward breastplate that's 
resting against him and the amulet around his neck. Even his spear is super shitty kobold quality, but the breastplate looks like it has been hammered by an appropriate smith, someone who knows what they're doing. This is not some cheap job, and it's also not like a breastplate that's been found. It has been, it's sized for a kobold. Or maybe uh, a halfling? Maybe a halfling. I'll take it, just to hold on to it. It's okay. Expensive. It weighs like 10 pounds or something. But I mean, the material alone is going to be worth something. Yeah, 10 pounds of brass is pretty good. Uh, can somebody hold 10 pounds? Sorry, well, you're all going to be encumbered because you got to drag Vaughn. Yeah, yeah just add I it just, on there. I, I grab I'll, it, yeah. I'll be able to hold it for the time. It won't okay. slow me down too much further than it already is. We're dragging him out of here. We're leaving as quickly as we can. Right. You, with Vaughn in tow, stumble out and through the woods. Um, eventually, not too long from now, bursting out into the open, and you find yourself standing near a... Well, after a short hike through the fields, you come across a great river uh, with a deep... Uh, a great river <laughs> in a great canyon. Um, this is what you see. Maybe we can camp here. Uh, you guys are not at the bottom. You're at the top of the canyon looking down mm -hmm. um, at this river that sort of winds its way gently through it. The height of the walls is at the point that you wouldn't want to climb it at one misstep and you would fall to your death for certain. Yeah. Um, but there eventually, if you follow this canyon, you'll probably make it to a place. And I don't think you know it yet, but this is the River Tam. The River Tam runs... Uh, let's get a map of it over here for a moment. The River Tam empties itself into the Grand Canal, and it runs right along High Castle. Uh, you guys must be somewhere over here, kind of bursting out of the woods at this point, and I think you can see High Castle in the distance. Is there a way to get over to it? Uh, you'll have to travel along the river looking for a route. Okay. Um, you're guess. not sure where it will be, but there's probably a way to cross. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a way. Uh, but it is a massive river canyon system. Just a really tall one. And I think this is where we are going to wrap up our session for the day. The party barely hanging on to life. Very low hit points. Out of spells. Mm. Atop a huge canyon looking down at the... And then looking across at the large city beyond. So, uh, thanks for playing, everybody. It's been a good session. XP. And yeah. yeah. Experience? XP. We Was had, like, three worth... sessions, I think. They were just kobolds. Eh, they don't count. Much. They're not worth anything. Kobolds is also the session before. And the session before and that, I think. Man tree. I mean, yeah. Hangman tree is pretty worth it. We're only, we're only two back. No, I think we only have two sessions worth of uh, We're only two back. Yeah, we got two. Yeah. Don't you worry. We keep track over here on our character sheet. Yeah. <laughs> we don't leave these things to remembering fate later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah. I didn't have an exact head count of the kobolds you killed, but I think the first battle was like 25. And then I think the second battle you defeated like another Somewhere. 10 maybe. And then the last was battle was, I think, 30. Oh, so 38. we're going to call it... There was like 38 was, the of the last one. The last one was 38? Yeah, I counted. 38. You counted? Nice. <laughs> okay. So but we're just going to call 40. it 40, nice. 10, and nice. 25. So 40, 50, 60, 75. Five. Hangman tree. Plus the hangman tree. What was the we last session? Found, we found... Oh. We found a mysterious item in a mysterious temple. We did. We went north through the Cobalt Woods. I guess we did that. Last session, we had the Longcast Bandits. We had seven of those and dudes. Visiting my, and then visiting my grave. And a hyena. Uh, Callum's and visiting grave. Callum's grave. Uh, there were the Bandits, right? Correct. Yeah. There were seven plus, or six plus one of those. Maybe the Verasi soldiers or whatever. Yes. Mm. And then we also yeah. had a hyena that was killed. We also cast a girl out and did some RP with um, yeah. Grace. Grace. Through. Many adventures. Okay, so kobolds, tree, bandits. Was there any other combat? A hyena. 
hyena. Hyena. Was it just one? Yeah. It was like a hunting hyena. thing, right? It was yeah. a hunting thing, but there was like six of them, and he had to scare it. I think. Yeah. They, did they ever attack they, you? I don't think they attacked you. They fled. They didn't pose any threat yeah. to you, so no XP for that. Okay. Um, but you did also make your way through Smuggler's Pass and the Bramblewood, which is, as we now know, a difficult and dangerous route to go. Um, oops. That path sucks. Plus. Yeah. To be fair, oh, less Jesus. scary than our other routes. Just <laughs> dangerous, but not as scary. <laughs> other way, don't know what's going on. Divide this between all four of you. So for the last two sessions of XP and getting through Smuggler's Pass and the Bramblewood and discovering these new territories and seeing High Castle, everyone can take home a whopping 2,061 experience. 2,061? Let's call it 2,062 because it actually has a 0.75 at the end of it. 2,062. And then times 0.10, right? For the Times 1.1 1. 1 is 2,268 if you have it. Do you all have it? No. No. Perfect. I, I love it when the party doesn't have the same amount of experience. Six, eight. I'm not going to level, but I'm going to be super close. I have 7,245. I do level. Nice. 7,234. All right, Mr. Mooton, give us a 1d8 for your hit points. <sighs> plus maybe a con mod. Do you have a con mod? Yeah, plus two, 16. Yep, that'll do. Four. Oof. It's okay. Good. And you are now level four, right? Yep. Okay. That will give you one additional second level spell. And That's that will give you a plus one to hit. Uh, and... I have to bend basic attacks, or? Uh, yeah, plus one on basic attacks. Plus one. And it will give you new saving throws. Okay. Um, so the combat tab, saving throws from top to bottom are going to be, now it should be nine. 13, 12, 15, 14. Okay. Uh, and hit from level. We should, we're gonna just put it over here instead of over here. It's over there, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. All the calculations it... even to be the same, but it's just easier to remember this way. Uh... So you should have at this point, four first and four second level spells per day, I think. Yep. Sweet. And I can use seven of them. And at fifth level, do I get an ability score increase? No, there are no ability score increases ever in second edition. Your stats mm. are the same for all eternity. What do I get? Unless oh, just... magic happens. Yeah. Unless, I mean, yeah, of course, unless magic. What level is, um? how much do you need for level four? 8,000. So you guys Shit, are getting damn. close, right? Sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. About a 242 off. Uh, and as a note for gauging power levels, usually the, the, the top soldier, like the top watchman in a small village would be level three. Uh, the sheriff, the lead marshal figure of a, a town would be level five. And then like the, mm. the lead sheriff of a city might be like level seven, but cities will have higher level people because they'll have knights and guards and all that jazz. So level five is sort of like the um, military leader of a, a town, the sheriff of a town. Most, a lot of knights are in the three, four, five range. Um, so you okay. guys are in, you're starting to get to that like significant power factor. You can actually hold your own against um, other people of importance. Okay. You're no longer just awesome. a pitiful, sad people. Awesome. I don't think we've it's ever not... been sad. Just and we got this dope ass mystery bow. Dope we do. Maybe a little bit sad. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> no one's sad. Just, just a little bit. What? Why would you be sad? You're alive this time. You lived through the crits this time. I, <laughs> I lived. I lived this Dude, time. that was so many kobolds. Holy shit. That was, <laughs> that was crazy. I was like, was I fucked up. Oh, man. I was like, I should have yeah. ran away from the door. And to be fair, on opportunity attacks, we slaughtered, I think, almost half of them. Yeah, the opportunity attacks are pretty yeah. much the only thing that saved us. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to tell us about the bow, Neil? 
No, Not I'm yet. trying to figure out. Uh, I don't think I marked off your days of travel to get here. I'm trying to figure out what day we're on. I think we are actually going to be on the 5th or 6th of April by now. I'm not so, sure where we are. So we're going to just say April 6th is when you arrive at Tam River. Sure. Cool. Um, how does High Castle look? Does it... Great um, question. Out of just curiosity. Can we see it from across the way? Yes, yeah. you can see it from across the way. Um, I'm going to... I can show Twitch chat easily. I can look through the stream. So, yeah, I'm going to also put it on the... Over here for you. I just need to upload it to roll 20. Okay. And before it <laughs> burned down. And Hal's going to say, Neil just <laughs> says it's a picture of a uh, burned out fire. It's just all ashes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here you go. Here you go. For those of you in game, if you want to get a better view of it. Where at? Just uh, in roll 20. Oh, nice. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, here. There you oh, go. Thank you. Oh, okay. So it's not completely fucked by Scoria. No, it's actually uh, a mm -hmm. vibrant city. You see no fire damage. You see no burn marks. The walls are standing. There's trees about it. Um, hills off in the temple. distance. Uh, there's probably the castle at the middle, actually. Not so much the temple. The keep. Okay. Yeah. And that's it for Desperate Measures for today, everybody. So as we head out, why don't we do a quick couple of shout outs? Why don't we start with Connor? Hi. Um, yeah, I hang around. I do things sometimes. Uh, won't see you guys on Thanksgiving. Mm. <laughs> Are we playing next Sunday? Uh, so Everybody has Friday off, correct? Yes. yes. We had talked special, about it. Yeah, special Black Friday. And I can't remember if we decided that a double feature weekend was cool. And we could do that. I would prefer, since we did it this weekend, to only do one next weekend. Um, due to I'm going to be in California with family and stuff. Fair Just enough. do yeah. Friday and not Friday and Sunday? Um, yeah, yeah, either Friday or Sunday. I, I think it's either, either or, or Sunday, so. Yeah. Okay. Same uh, for what, me, I think. Yeah. What do you guys want, Friday or Sunday? Um, Probably awesome. Friday for me. Yeah, Friday. For me, at least. We do Friday. Yeah, that's fine. Friday. Perfect. Friday sounds good. So we will see you guys Friday 6, no, 5 p.m. Pacific is what we said on Friday, right? Yes. 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 Sounds fine to me, 5 p.m. Yes. Pacific. That should be 8 uh, Eastern time. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Amazing. Well, All right. That'll wrap us up. Uh, no, no, that's Connor's shout out. Uh, yeah. um, Joka. Oh, my name's Will. I play games. I've been traveling a lot lately, but I'm planning on playing more games. Uh, we just play League of Legends these days. I don't know what's going on anymore. Now that this new preseason is going on, the map changes a bunch and all my warding spots are messed up. So come join the fun. Excellent. And Sorry, yeah. Lucas. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Mr. Mooton. That's it. And last but not least, uh, oh god, your cameras are on the wrong order. Tom. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, hi, I'm Azure Wind. Uh, I am at twitch.tv forward slash Azure Wind. Uh, it should be somewhere. Oh, wait, it's not here. It's A Z U R E W I N D. Um, and I play Long War most of the week, and we're coming to the end of our long war campaign at the moment so um yeah it's good stuff so yeah that's all i do so then you're actually going to start over and start playing the game right oh god no oh god no <laughs> no one one long war is good enough for now <laughs> for now i might do it later but i'm I, like i'm doing it on iron man so and and i'm like at the at the end and i had to move away from iron man and it's no oh god it's it's bad i'm traumatized right now i need to take a break uh i'm doing <laughs> phoenix point in december hopefully so yeah, yeah. all right okay that's it everybody we'll see you next time yeah. good night good night